And the very best of luck. Never a quiet kitchen when, <laughs> when Gino's here. You're right. <laughs> oh, you know then. Yeah, things that people should know. Okay. So, all right then. All right. Go on. Go <laughs> no. on. So, Cannoliki, elbow. Those ones are more for the little ones, more for soups. Cannelloni, cannelliki. No, cannelloni is the big chip. Yeah, I know, but I'm just. But now I'm going to show you the reason why we use in the penne. Okay? okay. So the penne are cooking. So remember the blah 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 blah. Piopare, piopare, blah blah blah. Just to give a little bit of dry, make the sauce nice and, and, and chewy, and then on top to make the crispiness. Then a nutmeg. If you can give me some nutmeg, a great in here. Greater the nutmeg in here, please. All right, wait. <laughs> yeah. I've got to get it. These edges, nice and crispy, popping out. Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, I don't know, but <laughs> popping out, right? No, but it's good because this is what is for a dish, it's a texture. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> now, it was suggested to me, should we put a, a salad? No. No. no, you Chips? can't put a salad. No, <laughs> you cannot put a salad in the same plate of the pasta because Why? it gets soggy. Oh, you it's put wrong. It on the side, on, on the way. side, yes, but not on the same plate of the pasta because it's wrong. It gets soggy, and the salad it doesn't work well with pasta. Mm. That is, uh, that is no good. Then you pick it up. Look at that. Oh, smooth. Gino, Gino, okay. Gino, Gino. Look at that. Look at this. Smooth. Can you see the mozzarella? What is doing? Is doing all this. Uh, uh, Fantastic, what do you call it? String it. Yeah. Okay. String. Stringy. <laughs> Stringer. String? String. 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 And you yeah. put it in there. And look at that. It's, what do you want? You don't want it to make it too clumsy, too sticky. The sauce has to coat the pasta beautifully and they have to start to appreciate the flavor of the cheeses. Mm -mm. Well, it's lovely. A fork. Do you know, it's, Tell me. if it had like ham in it, Oh. <laughs> oh, it's, no. it's closer. Oh, no. It's closer to a British carbonara. Oh no! It is. No, that's true. Oh well, well I'm glad you're standing there. Do you there, agree? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. <laughs> you know what? You know. <laughs> You know, what the hell is, you know, it doesn't make any sense what you said, it's a different recipe, it's got nothing to do with the uh, macaroni cheese, you know, well, <laughs> I'm random, it's what, can, uh, uh, please, anybody help me in the kitchen? Oh, God, my God, he choked. <laughs> oh, man. Stop it. Oh, dear. Well, very good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Can, uh, yeah, there we are. You can put a ham at home if you want. Excuse me. Uh... <coughs> <laughs> well, you nearly right. polished both of us off there. That's oh, great. God. Terrific. Gino, thank you. Okay. It is absolutely sensational. Uh, it's lovely. It's really good. If you would like to cook Gino's ultimate macaroni cheese, Ford then you will find gobbler. the recipe <laughs> on our website, <laughs> itv.com. Uh, this morning, if you're a Sky satellite oh. viewer, then you can uh, press your red button now. Now, a word about tomorrow's show. Teeth falling out, being naked in front of lots of people, flying or falling. These are common recurring dreams, but what are yours? Well, dream analyst Delphi Ellis will be here uncovering the hidden meaning behind them, so you can email your recurring dream to this morning at ITV. Com. Still to come, from opera to indie rock, American soprano Renee Fleming on why she's had a key change. Plus, she's performing live. She's here right after the break.